we make a tangent at the starting point and uh, we calculate the gradient of that tangent. So when we calculate the gradient of that tangent, uh, we will get the rate. So the rate is the gradient of the tangent at the starting point, which is at 0, 0, 0.20, which is this coordinate. So the, we, we calculate the gradient over here and we know that the concentration is 0 0.2. So now we can calculate K, which is rate over 0 0.2 to the power of M. So now we can calculate an accurate value of K. So this is known as the, as the initial rate method. Now we'll uh, see how we can calculate the order of reaction. So uh, let's just do this question. Uh, aqueous gold chloride, AuCl3, reacts with aqueous hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, under certain conditions. A student carries out, uh, okay, sorry, forming Au, O2, and HCl. So uh, HC, AuCl3 and H2O2 react. Uh, we don't know the re exact ratios. We will figure that out. But they form this in the reaction. A student carries out separate experiments using different initial concentrations of AuCl3 and H2O2. The initial rate of each reaction is measured. The table shows the results that are obtained. Okay, so uh, we have concentrations of AuCl3, H2O2, three different experiments with different concentrations, and we have the rate of production of O2. So they have measured the change in the volume of O2 per unit time, and that's how they've calculated the rate. So the first part is write an equation for the reaction of AuCl3 with H2O2. So when I try to make this equation and balance it, I get 2AuCl3 plus 3H2O2 gives 2AU plus 3O2 plus 6HCl. Now uh, you can see from this that this equation is balanced. Two gold atoms here, two gold atoms here, six chlorine in total, six chlorine in total, uh, six hydrogen in total, six hydrogen in total. 6 oxygen in total, 6 oxygen is total. So we have made a balanced equation for this reaction and now we have to determine the rate equation of the reaction. So let's just write the conventional form over here. Rate is equal to a constant times the concentration of AuCl3 raised to the power of M times the concentration of H2O2 raised to the power of N. So uh, we have, this is the general equation, the general rate equation. We have to calculate M and N so that we can determine the exact rate equation, okay? So now uh, let's, uh, if you just look at experiment 1 and 2 for now, don't look at experiment 3, only look at experiment 1 and 2. So we know that uh, the concentration of AuCl3 is doubling from experiment 1 to experiment 2. However, the concentration of H2O2 they have used is constant. And, this, and the rate value is changing from 7.6 into 10 to the power of minus 2 to 1.53 into 10 to the power of minus 1. So now if I rearrange this equation, I can also write this equation as rate over concentration of AuCl3 to the power of M is equal to K times the concentration of H2O2 to the power of N. And let's just say this is equal to a constant C. Now why this is equal to constant C is because if you look at experiments 1 and 2, you know that the concentration of AuCl3 is doubling, it is changing, but the concentration of H2O2 is the same, it's constant. K is a constant, the concentration of H2O2 is constant, so this entire term is constant for experiment 1 and 2. And this means that for experiment 1 and 2, 
rate over AUCL3 to the power of m is equal to a constant c.